Wayshowers are entrusted with divine service, the sacred path to become guardians of the new light. On a grounded level, the challenges to that power, peace, and service can be plentiful in order for you to find strength and doubtless devotion to source, a deep inner dedication to love. Wayshower, know thyself. We are the light of this new world. This is a sacred endeavor. This deep internal shift reveals new levels of the divine self. New levels of consciousness, supported by the new light, have transformed the old light into something brand new. We build new sacred sites, new structures with a very refined energy right within our own hearts. This assists Gaia as she shifts her magnetics, gravitational fields, and her emerging solar Christed beingness to accommodate unity consciousness. This is why lightworkers are placed all over the planet in such a scattered way. We provide stability and balance during this passage. Place all of your focus on love, random acts of kindness, love, devotion, and allowing the transformation of your own heart are imperative to the emergence of the new. Forgive and forget the old light. Resolve to be a guardian of the new light. Nurture yourself and others with gratitude. Tend your new garden well, beloveds. Remember that your thoughts and your feelings create your reality. The High Vibe Tribe communicates love in multitudes of expressions. Always present solutions and creative alternatives to those who become entangled in the external drama. Your higher perspective and the new light solutions that you create will create the new path for others. Embody this new light with patience and humility and let it transform your journey. Let it be strange, different, unexpected. Let the light show you what is now. All of our power is in presence. Be present with the new you and the new consciousness emerging in others around you. Take note of the positive shifts and share them. Multidimensionality requires nonlinear integration. Deep moments in the stillness, then creative stimulation directed by the multidimensional self. The more aware you become of multidimensional parallels, the easier it is to focus on what is happening in this reality or what may be bleed through or influence from another aspect of yourself. With direction, meditation, and authentic dedication to love and wayshowership, service, and self-transformation, your multidimensional aspects will merge as one purified expression of the Christ itself. Maintain the multidimensional perspective. We are witnessing and creating our transformation simultaneously. Let the present be beautiful and strange and celebrate the transformation of Gaia, elementals, plants, animals, and humanity, and it'll be easier to way show. It'll be easier for everyone around you. Be present in the love each and every minute. Let it happen. We are here to show the way. That way, right now, is to be open in the love, peace, and express it genuinely. Be authentic in your light. Kindness, compassion, humility, reverence, we are entrusted on the highest levels with this task. Own that role. Honor that you are awake, ascending, crossing the crystalline bridges to a brand new experience. Devotion to that cosmic transformation is your key to Christed presence as a way shower. Be here now, in the love. We provide stability by being present with how we feel, nurturing ourselves, presenting solutions rather than complaints, and being of service to our family, friends, and those in our presence. Tap into the human heart grid during our unity meditations or anytime you need comfort, strength, or support. This is a powerful moment to receive and step into the new self. This is the payoff for your dedication to mastery, beloveds. Get out and create the good work. 
show the way with ease and grace. Let us focus on highest intent. Honor your personal path of mastery in thought, word, action, and intent. There will be several behavioral triggers to use and several exercises and methods to use throughout the path of this class. Go big with your intentions through all of these exercises. Align them with the global, galactic, universal, pure source intent to amplify the timelines of divine love, light, and ascension. Every creation begins with an intention. And the first intention is to be the kind of creator people can trust. Redirect your thoughts about possibility. Go boundless, fearless, but not reckless. Redirecting the mind takes practice until the brain, heart, and energy fields are rewired. But what is the most powerful thing you can create to assist? Focus on the higher light and bypass the lower interference. Surrender to divine service. Put your faith in the mission of divine love. Go all in 24-7. It does get easier after you surrender your fears about trust and risk. But when you hit that level of faith in yourself and source, nothing else makes sense except service. Then pure creativity can work through you. Know that the tribe has your back. Divine love light has your back. We are all in this together. Align with divine self-realization. When you align with the calm, centered state of the infinite, you become that. The more you know, the more you interact with higher beings, the more humble, confident, and authentic you become. Breathe. Meditate. Knowing that you are a fractal of the creator. Stay vulnerable and on point. Having access to pure creation dynamics, the true self is innocence and wisdom at once. Be gentle enough to hear intuition and be wise enough to ask questions. Listen to divine will rather than personal will. Practice divine neutrality about outcomes. Let the higher self lead. What is in the highest interest of all concerned? What will truly raise the conversation to 5D level and beyond? Create from that pure perspective of no limits and total prosperity, complete abundance. It changes your energy and thereby your service. All of your creations will encourage the collective to participate in their own path of self-empowerment. Check the egoic level. Remember that the leader-follower vibration is not new paradigm. However, we do need capable individuals to connect the tribe and maintain focus on the new. We are re-educating the collective for self-empowerment by way of example and expression. Self-empowerment is the hardest thing to teach. Be a reliable guide. Be absolutely present in order to be the presence, your true self. Open as a pure conduit of source and let the creation flow through you. Express as your creator self. Exercise this creator muscle. All of our power is in the now. Honor your unique expression and experiences. We are the answer to source's question of let me know all that I am. Let me explore all that I am. What if I forgot myself in the density of duality and explored returning to oneness and celebrated my return with a brand new creation of self? What would you do if no one liked, shared, or donated to your creation? Would you do it anyway? That is where you find your true expression of the creator self. Think like an artist. Create and honor yourself as a creator. Step forward as a way shower. Walk ahead and demonstrate it is safe to move forward into the unknown. That is one of our largest tasks. 
Face your fears about trusting the collective, sharing your heart, abundance, personal value, or competition issues. Way show by being authentic. It encourages others to show up. We're going to learn in this class how to be a responsible creator. This new freedom means that we need to create responsibly, unlike the old paradigm leadership. We cannot replicate any of those old dynamics. They don't serve, and they're being removed. We have the new keys to the kingdom, and this now renaissance is literally creating new timelines for everyone to experience higher truths. Speak to the highest common denominator, the multidimensional conversation. Much current content is uninteresting to those further down the path. Experiment with higher creations which stimulate the heart, the higher consciousness. Open for expansive conversations and experiences rather than re-examining the past or speculating on the future. Manage yourself as a conduit for the shift. Be wise about the effect of co-creation. It is getting stronger. Stay on point with your intention and your service. The veils are thin, which means your heart will need to be clear. We see you. The awakened are being flooded with ideas as well as energies. Much of the collective turns to the online world for how they feel, what to focus on, etc. Avoid using old paradigm dynamics to attract attention. There is a lot going on right now, and not every impulse needs to be shared. What will serve the forward momentum is what we're going to focus on. We serve as one heart, one unified creation, just like Source. Multidimensional awareness is a popular conversation. As we unify, we make it a tangible experience for all. Trust Source. Trust yourself, trust each other as one force of source dedicated to service. We share as one tribe. We need to dispel scarcity and competition. The glass is, and always has been, full. Love and reach out to each other. Practice within this tribe. Connect and face your fears of expression. We've got your back. Remember that the last piece of this grand puzzle is placed together. That is the only way it can be completed, through unity. Blessings, beloved, and welcome to Wayshower Empowerment. I am so excited to serve your journey in this way. And let me tell you a little bit of the backstory about why this class is being created. The energies are shifting very dramatically this year and will continue to do so. And what I've been seeing is a lot of wayshowers felt complete in their service, or they felt like their service needed to change, or they weren't sure if they were done with way showing, if should they move on to something else, but at the same time that their multidimensional self is coming into what we call embodiment, they were also getting all this flood of creative ideas. What if I do that? What if I do that? What if I do that? And I found that there was a lack or a gap in what they used to do and what they are meant to do next. So this class is specifically designed whether you've been a consistent way shower or whether you're just getting into it or you feel like "Mm, maybe I should come out and start doing something a little bit more public. This is designed for both small group interaction, one-on-one interaction with your family and friends or way showing in a more public presence if you want to get into events and festivals or a more social media public type appearance or presence. So let's get into it. Now that the energies have shifted for us to fully come into our embodiment, we're going to be expressing ourselves in a different way. So this class is designed module by module to build on clarity, the next steps of your creation, how to influence and work with the energies, how to maintain a presence as you come into your multidimensional self and that Christed embodiment that a lot of us are experiencing, how to communicate more clearly, and how to clarify and direct what your way showership plan or highest trajectory, how to align with that. 
A lot of the things are going to be about sharing what I've learned as a way shower. So I am a seasoned way shower. I've been out there for quite a few years and it's about consistency and it's about using the tools that we have available. But we're also coming in with this multi-dimensional aspect and we're applying that to everything. So we're going to be balancing our embodiment, our multi-dimensional self, and coming into the new wave, the next wave, a way showership. So there's going to be a few materials that you're going to have to collect before you get started. And the very first one, besides creating a sacred space for this entire class in your own heart, in your own classroom, your own living room, your own bedroom, wherever you're going to be uh, enjoying this class, the first thing is going to be a notebook. Now, notebooks, I find when you're starting a new creative endeavor, make them pretty, beautiful. I love big, beautiful notebooks. If your dreams are big, you want a big notebook. Go into gold. If you're getting into your crested ray or that golden solar ray, play with it, you know, make this something special. So I find that, you know, I love beautiful notebooks like this. But the one thing you don't want to do is this. This is not you. This is not your largest expression. This is a far too tiny for your big dreams, so go big. Don't go small. If you have a tiny little notebook like this, that's for the car. You know, make sure that you are creating sacred space for your way showership to really expand. And you're gonna need a notebook because there's gonna be a lot of prompts that you're gonna to have to write down. And I suggest not working from a phone if that's your only web access, that's what you got. But if you have a desktop or a laptop or an iPad or something so you can watch the videos and really get into it and not be like typing or um, uh, doing vocal notes into your iPhone or something like that. Take the time, take the creative time to write down the answers to the prompts because we're going to be going through a lot of very strong exercises that I found in my own path really serve. When I'm trying to make a decision, when I'm shifting my services, everything's changing right now. So let's get into full support. I would also like to suggest that you create a crystal grid somewhere in your space that can stay put while you're taking the class that will hold your intentions and your original intention. Just write it down on a piece of paper with all kinds of flowery, whatever sacred geometry you want to put around it, but put the words and the intentions for your highest trajectory, your highest level of way showership to present, bring in all your teams, everything that you have going on, all the tools that we all use all the time, ground them and then surround them with crystals, whatever you have, even if you have one crystal, that's absolutely fine, but keep it somewhere in your house where you can continually send energy to it and as the intentions and all the answers from the prompts and your notebook even can go on that space. So you're constantly going to send energy to that because shifting our services and shifting into this higher multidimensional self takes a little bit of doing. So we have, we're integrating these really strong energies at the same time that we're shifting our service. So support yourself and support this journey as much as possible. The other thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to follow the behavioral triggers or at least play with them as they're presented in the class. So there's intention alarms and, and different things that you can use that I found in my personal journey really work to keep me on track, to keep me on the highest trajectory as I go through my own personal journey with Ascension and also in my way showership. So as a seasoned way shower, I have a lot to share. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking to you a lot throughout this journey, but this is the content does build one step on top of the other. So make sure that you're pausing the videos, not just watching one video after the other. Stop, do the exercises, integrate the methods, Take your time. Let's get into clarifying our mission and our service and what's coming down the pipe, what's on the highest trajectory. And thank you again for joining me on this journey. Thank you. Let's get started.